Hey everyone, Dale here with Pacific Sun Technologies. We're on part two of our three part video series on who has the best home battery backup solution. Is it going to be a DC coupled battery or an AC coupled battery? And if you haven't watched part one of our video series, be sure to check it out. I'm leaving a link in the description below. And of course you're seeing it pop up on the screen right now. So definitely watch it because you're not going to want to miss it for the final video of this series. Now with that said, please be sure to subscribe while you're down there. Yeah, just hit that button and while you're at it, you should just like this video. That'd be great. And of course, if you're someone that lives in our area of Southern California, then visit us online to receive a hassle free quote. We have some great end of the year promotions going on right now that you're not going to want to miss. So check those links out down below. And you know, it's worth noting the federal investment tax credit, which is 26% right now is decreasing to 22% next year. And then it's completely gone. So if you're thinking about solar or you're thinking about a battery backup system right now is a great time to get a quote and to get it installed. Because if you wait, you may lose out on a 22% tax credit. So use those links below, get your free quote today. So a quick recap on last week's video for context. I developed a point system based on the following categories and the maximum points that can be earned per topic is 10 for a total of 100 points. Now there is an exception to each, to one category and that's the price because I've divided it into two categories, one for maximum price and one for entry level price because most systems have a maximum and an entry level price area. Now, one small deviation also worth noting from the DC coupled solution video that again, if you haven't watched it, check it out, is that the AC coupled batteries, I'll be assuming homeowners looking at AC coupled batteries already have an existing solar system. So the pricing shown in this video will not be including a solar system. It's only for the battery system. Now in part three, I will be including the pricing for both DC and AC coupled batteries with brand new solar system. So subscribe to the channel so that way you can see that last video. The categories are as follows. Maximum solar system size for the batteries, storage capacity for batteries in kilowatt hours, battery backup amps continuous and surge, battery backup kilowatts continuous and surge, round trip efficiency, depth of discharge, warranty, and finally price. And again, that's split up into two categories, entry level and maximum. Now, unlike DC coupled solutions, there aren't as many AC coupled battery backup systems on the market, which I kind of feel surprising, but there still were some options that I didn't mention in this video. The ones that did make my list though are the SMA America Sunny Boy Storage with a BYD battery, the Zone in Eco battery, Tesla Powerwall 2, and the Enphase N Charge. Now, as of this video, Zonin has just announced a new Zonin system called the Zonin Core, and I will be doing a separate video on that battery system. So if you are a big Zonin fan and you've been waiting for an affordable option, you might wanna subscribe to the channel because the Zonin Core is probably perfect for you. One more thing worth noting before I get into comparing these four AC coupled batteries is what their purpose is. Now an AC coupled battery is usually installed on homes that have existing solar systems. Now, this isn't always the case because the Tesla Powerwall is and for the most part has always been an AC coupled solution and it's installed quite frequently on new solar systems. But in my experience, usually we only offer an AC coupled battery solution to homeowners with existing solar. Another quick note is the Tesla Powerwall and the Enphase and charge systems will have two ratings, one with just a single battery and one with the maximum batteries that can be connected together. Let's start with the maximum solar system size allowed. This is important because if you have an existing solar system, you may be limited on which option you can select depending on what the battery system can take in from the solar. 
This is also true for customers looking to have one of these units installed on a new solar system. The Zone in Eco offers eight kilowatts AC. SMA America SBS is 12 kilowatts AC. The Tesla Powerwall 2, any solar system size. Enphase N charge is any Enphase IQ system. Now, there are some limitations within this. It gets a little more complicated. It does need to be sized to your solar system. So you couldn't just get like one Enphase 3.3 battery if you had like a 20 kilowatt solar system. So keep that in mind. Maximum usable storage capacity of the batteries in kilowatt hours. Usable energy is very important word to pay very close attention to. Many companies will advertise a larger battery capacity, but it's actual the full rating of the battery and not the amount you can actually use. So when comparing batteries, be sure to ask or at least look at the spec sheets and look for usable energy. The zone in Eco is 20 kilowatt hours. SMA America's SBS is 30.72 kilowatt hours using three BYD batteries, each rated at 10.24 kilowatt hours. The Tesla Powerwall 2 is 13.5 kilowatt hours per Powerwall. Now you can connect up to six of them together for 81 kilowatt hours. End phase end charge is 10.1 kilowatt hours per end charge 10 unit for up to four of them connected together for 40.4 kilowatt hours. Battery backup amps continuous. When considering a backup solution, the amps the system can output during a power outage is key to uninterrupted power during a blackout. If you don't have enough amps, you'll be limited to what you can back up or use. The Zone in Eco offers 32 amps. SMA America SBS offers 32 amps. Tesla Powerwall 2, 13.75 amps per Powerwall. Again, you can connect six of them together for a total of 82.5 amps. End phase end charge, 16 amps per end charge 10, up to four units connected together for 64 amps. Battery backup amps surge. The surge is equally important to the continuous amps because some devices like say a refrigerator will have a spike in amps, which you know need that surge to start say the compressor. But once it's running, the amps actually go down to a steady flow. So the surge is usually in most cases less than 30 seconds. The zone in Eco is 50 amps. SMA America's SBS is 50 amps. Tesla Powerwall 2, 24 amps per Powerwall. Again, if you connect six of them together, you can have up to 144 amps of surge capabilities. End phase end charge is 25 amps per end charge 10, up to four units connected together for 100 amp surge. Battery backup kilowatts continuous. Much like amps, kilowatt output of the system during a power outage is crucial. This is the energy the system can actually provide your home or backup panel. Just remember, Amps start the devices and watts or kilowatts provide the power for them to run. The zone in Eco, 8,000 watts or 8 kilowatts. SMA America SBS, 6,000 watts or 6 kilowatts. Tesla Powerwall 2, 3,300 watts or 3.3 kilowatts per unit up to six Powerwalls for 19,800 watts or 19.8 kilowatts. End phase end charge 10 is 3,840 watts or 3.84 kilowatts per unit up to four of them connected together for 15,360 watts or 15.36 kilowatts. Battery backup kilowatts surge. When you have a surge in amps, you also have a surge in power draw. These devices need the amps to start and require also a spike in power to get the things going. They go hand in hand. So if you're looking to run a large appliance during a power outage, like say an air conditioner, you're going to need to look at the surge on these two devices. So the zone in Eco, 17,000 watts or 17 kilowatts. SMA America's SBS is 9,300 watts or 9.3 kilowatts. Tesla Powerwall 2, 5,800 watts or 5.8 kilowatts per 
unit, or if you connected up to six of them together, you could have 34,800 watts or 34.8 kilowatts. The end phase end charge, 5,700 watts or 5.7 kilowatts per unit. Again, up to four of them connected together for 22,800 watts or 22.8 kilowatts. Round trip efficiency. This is a very important figure to look at because it has to do with the energy your system loses when the batteries are being charged and then discharged. Now an AC coupled solution will typically have a higher loss of energy than a DC coupled solution because the energy is being converted from AC to DC and then back to AC, where a DC coupled solution is DC to DC and then it only converts to AC one time. So you tend to have a lower efficiency rating here. The zone in eco is 86%. SMA America SBS is surprisingly 95.3%. Tesla Powerwall 2 is 90%. And the end phase end charge is 89%. Depth of discharge. Like I had previously mentioned on maximum usable storage capacity of the batteries, the depth of discharge is part of that. Most batteries have a set reserve to help maintain battery life, which reduces how much of the battery you can actually use. The figure I provided earlier in this video are true usable energy of these systems and not these total stored energy. The zone in eco is 90%. SMA America's SBS is 100% using the BYD batteries. Tesla Powerwall 2 is 96.5% and the end phase end charge is 96%. Battery warranty. Like many batteries on the market, they do slowly degrade and knowing how long your battery will last before it begins to degrade to a point that is just worthless is important when you're trying to calculate the value of your investment. Now, most lithium ion batteries will last you probably 12 to 15 years before needing to be replaced. I mean, they could easily last 20 years, but it really depends on your situation and how you plan on using these batteries. By contrast, some manufacturers like Enphase and Zonin use lithium iron phosphate or LFP, which has a much greater life than the industry standard nickel magnesium cobalt or NMC. This is what you'll typically see for the Tesla Powerwall and the LG Chem batteries. Zone in Eco, 10 years or 10,000 cycles. SMA America SBS is 10 years or 30.82 megawatt hours per unit. Tesla Powerwall 2 is 10 years or 37.8 megawatt hours per Powerwall. End phase end charge is 10 years or 4,000 cycles per end charge 10. Now we're getting close to the last two topics of the video and that has to do with the price. Each of these AC coupled solutions allow you to buy into the system with fewer batteries, thus saving you money up front. And of course you can add on to the system to increase your battery capacity or backup capabilities in the future. I've split the 10 points that I could potentially provide this price entry into two. So each one will receive five on maximum cost and entry level cost starting with the estimated maximum cost before and after the federal investment tax credit of 22%. Again, this tax credit does expire next year, so 2021. That's it, no more tax credit. So if you're looking to go solar or you're looking to get a battery, right now is a really good time to start doing that. The zone in eco, $41,532 before the tax credits. $32,395 after the tax credits. SMA America SBS, $43,017 before tax credits, $33,553 after. Tesla Powerwall 2, $71,875 before the tax credits, $56,063 after. The end phase end charge, $66,046 before tax credits and $51,516 after. And now the entry price for these systems with the minimum battery capacity allowed by the manufacturer, the solar system size remained the same, assuming that you already had one. Again, starting with the estimated cost before the federal investment tax credit of 22%. The zone in eco, $30,121 before, 
23,495 after. SME America SBS, $21,833 before, $17,030 after. The Tesla Powerwall 2, $13,800 before, $10,764 after. Finally, the Enphase N Charge, $22,061 before, $17,208 after. So let's tally the results. Zone and Eco earned a total of 85 out of 100 points. SMA America SBS earned a total of 89 out of 100 points. The Tesla Powerwall 2 earned a total of 84 out of 100 points. Now, before you fanboys start, you know, getting all crazy, here it is if you look at the maximum system size, 93 out of 100 points. You would need two or three power walls to equal the same or greater backup capabilities as the Zonin and the SMA system. Now the same can be said for the Enphase in charge battery, but even with the small points bump, with it maxed out system is still barely as good as Zonin or SMA. With all that said, who's the winner of this battle of the batteries? Well. I think SMA has done a remarkable job and the points kind of show that. They are definitely a top competitor when compared to a Tesla Powerwall with one, two, or even six batteries, I feel, because, I mean, who really needs six batteries, but everybody's situation is a little different. Needless to say, both SMA and Tesla will be facing off in the final series of our Battle of the Batteries. And you're not gonna to wanna to miss it because we're also bringing the winner of last week's video to the finale. Now, if you missed that video, be sure to check it out and see who won. And of course, if you are someone or you know someone who's interested in a solar plus storage solution and you live in our area of Southern California, then visit us online to receive a hassle-free quote. Yeah, use that link in the description below. We have some great virtual quotes available that make it easy for you to learn about the benefits of going solar and having a battery backup system. Thanks for watching and I'll see you after Thanksgiving to find out who has the best home battery backup solution on the market.